Hi everyone. This is another self storage walk from Melbourne and I am visiting a really cool storage facility. Um, I am at Pentridge Cellars and Pentridge um, used to be a prison. Uh, you can actually see over here. Let's see where it is. Look, there is part of the building. Division D over there is where um, there is a wine storage business. Now, one of the things that is really cool about this area is it hasn't been a prison since uh, 19, 1996. Um, it opened as a prison in 1852. And one of the things that they um, sort of were, uh, became their sort of strategy here at Pentridge was that they invested in electronic doors and advanced CCTV so that they could reduce staff costs. So, um, first of all, visiting this storage facility, the first thing I want to say is how cool is this? You know, as a self storage nerd, it is almost impossible to not get excited by a wine storage facility that is in a previous prison. Um, I mean, all the USPs you can have around and marketing messaging you can have around security and that sort of thing, you know, is, is just off the charts and amazing. So that's the first thing I wanted to say. But the second thing I wanted to mention on this self storage walk is around the electronic doors that was part of the Pentridge prison um, strategy because electronic locks is something that is coming more and more in this um, in our industry. And so I just wanted to share a couple of thoughts about that. So um, when we look at whether or not we want to implement electronic locks, very often the focus is on the customer experience and that is absolutely a huge part of it. But another part that I would really encourage you to reflect on is the data that electronic locks gives you and um, what that data could be used for in terms of managing your revenue, um, you know, being able to pinpoint your marketing and your customer groups and segmentation better. Those are things that also are really interesting to look into when you're evaluating whether electronic locks are worth it. And what I also want to mention is one of the common objections that I run into when I speak to people about electronic locks is the fact that it adds a running cost onto the self storage unit. And that's something that we haven't really had in the storage industry before. So one of the things that I want to mention around that is that several self storage facilities that I know of have implemented electronic locks, but they haven't done it in the whole facility. They've taken one section, typically on the ground floor, and on that section, they offer 24 seven um, access together with the electronic lock and they sell that at a premium. And then the rest of the site is traditional self storage with a physical padlock. And then they offer access there um, from say six in the morning to 10 at night. This means that they can actually sell those units at a premium um, and thereby both covering the, co the running cost that the electronic lock adds, but at the same time also making a profit on it. So that's one thing to also take into consideration, um, add to the equation when you're looking at whether electronic locks are really worth it. Um, I'm now going to go and have a closer look at the wine storage um, in Pentridge Cellar. And I wish you all a wonderful day from Melbourne. Until next time.